Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Add 7 twelfths plus a 5 8 tenths. We first want to find our least common denominator between these two fractions. Notice they're not the same. So let's start with 12. 12. Well, 12 breaks down to be 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 is a 4 times 3 is a 12. What about 18? 18 divided by 2 is a 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. If you need more practice with this, we have other videos about that in our earlier series. From there, we now find the least common denominator. Well, line up, twos come down, so one two comes down here, times this two comes down here, these threes come down, and this three comes down. So what does that come out to be? Three times three is a nine, times two is an 18, times two is a 36. So 36 is the least common denominator for these two fractions. So let's go write each one of these fractions with that least common denominator. Let's start with the 7 twelfths. To tw have 12 become a 36, we need to multiply that by a 3. So we need to do that also to the numerator. Plus 5 eighteenths. To get 18 to be a 36, we need to multiply that by a 2. And 5, the numerator, do the same. Multiply by a 2. From there, let's simplify some. 7 times 3 is a 21. And 12 times 3 is a 36, the way we designed it. 5 times 2 is a 10. 18 times 2, 36 again. Notice we have a common denominator right here, 36. We can combine it to be one big fraction. We have 21 plus a 10 in the numerator. From there, 21 plus 10 simplifies to be a 31 over a 36. Keep that there. And since 31 is a prime number, we know we can't simplify this anymore. And there we have it. 7 twelfths plus a 5 eighteenths simplifies to be a 31 over a 36. I hope you learned something here on how to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.